Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Dismantle here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. Okay, yeah, I know I have been kind of maybe spamming these episodes a bit more, but if you're gonna keep recommend, recommend, recommending games like this to me on a frequent base, well, what can I say? I'm gonna keep spamming the episodes because I kind of do enjoy this game. So it has a lot of potential. It's a lot of fun. And so far, I did not come across any major bugs despite the fact that it's in early stages of its development. Although it's in the 0 0.7 point something patch. So it's, it's probably not as far from being finalized. So who knows? But anyhow, if you have any tri uh, tricks, tips, and comments or concerns for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you already left some in the comment section and I was not able to feature them yet, it's most likely due to the fact that I did record like a couple of episodes ahead and then I'm just trying to publish them as frequently as possible on the channel along with a variety of other games. So if you're new to the channel, Check out either the link in the description, it will lead you to the channel itself so you can see what the channel is up to. Or the better way is to actually subscribe so that you know when the new content is uploaded. As I publish fun content like this from Mondays till Fridays, I do playthroughs, comparison, all sorts of cool stuff, so go check it out. Now, when it comes to our current status, on the previous episode, I'm not gonna tell you that much what happened, so you will potentially not go and watch it yourself. But our goal here is to get into the terminal, and in order for us to do that, we need to do something with this link relay. And I unfortunately did manage to die over here. So we're gonna have to traverse from the Packard farm family or family farm Jesus, what's wrong with me and I'm not sure if we're gonna go through the caged suburb and get to Grey Haven uh, it's gonna be probably a bit easier rather than just going down here and trying to get to that location but anyhow we are definitely gonna be forced to get there in order to switch on the link relay the issue is the Grey Haven is kind of heavily infested with a bit more dangerous uh, enemies as we are potentially able to come across uh, creatures some as the ex-human pukers chasers and the biggest issue for me currently are the stalkers the these boils are really 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 dangerous and so yeah we're, we're gonna see what's up there's still some potential to uncover some different variety of uh, enemies and considering how massive this map is and that we have only discovered recently the edge of the island there is still a whole lot of stuff that needs to be discovered, researched, and such. Now, I do know that the chili soup here is uh, popping in, but my bigger concern is actually if we would go into the research, uh, getting our hands on the Link Tower Toolkit and the Basic Lockpick. Unfortunately, these two are locked, despite the fact that we now do possess the level 11, which is required in order to research these. But we first need to get the compass. And the problem here is I will require some iron in order to get my hands on it. Without it, it's actually not gonna happen. And we are still missing some plant matter for me to make the boonie hat. So theoretically, if I would be able to get this, we can get some damage block and we would get some view range shrunkage when it comes to the enemies being able to see us. But because I have been recently utilizing the plant matter kind of heavily in order to start up the farming process here at the farm, it has somewhat affected my capability to maintain a steady supply of the plant matter so I'm gonna have to probably try to um, do some gardening duty here at the house by the farm and if I will be able to gather up the plant matter that I do require so desperately I would be able to get that cat upgrade and uh, we would be even better camouflaged 
So sneaking around, especially at nighttime, would help us out. Because believe it or not, at nighttime, the view of the uh, ex humans or the infected or whatever we want to call them at this point of the game is definitely affected at the nighttime more than during the daytime. I still think they remind me of the clickers from The Last of Us. Uh, that might be just my own personal opinion, of course. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section, of course, what do you think they remind you of? But seriously, like I, I think they took some inspiration from The Last of Us here. I know that they might be infected due to some other reason, which we do not know because our main protagonist uh, was hiding uh, and he kind of missed out on a couple of these things but okay now we should be able to go and do that crafting so boonie hat let's get it oh bam we're gonna switch it up now we look like a proper adventure from Australia? I, I don't know, but yeah, well everything tries to eat you and kill you there too, so what do I know? I've been there only once. So, uh, okay, now the goal here is gonna be to make our way over here. So we're gonna try to get back to the gated community. Um, theoretically, since we are here, we can play around with the farming a little bit. Let's see if we have... I don't know what would be like a appropriate crop to replace the tomatoes with. I know what, let's put in more tomatoes. And we're gonna be able to fix the fact that I keep accidentally spamming the throwable knives. This is one of the main reasons why I also somehow uh, refuse to upgrade the throwable damage because I just am afraid that I'm gonna uh, do something stupid on accident. So, okay. Let's see if we can put this uh, camo to the use. Uh, so, we are currently surrounded by the ex-humans. This seems like a perfect spot to hide something. So, we do have the shovel equipped. There we go, there's another treasure. Is there just one treasure or are there more of them? So far, these treasures are not that frequent. I mean, but I, I, I counted like four of them so far. One was on a graveyard, so that was kind of weird, but okay. Uh, the things we have to do in order to uh, proceed with the main story, I guess. So, now that we are moving back towards the gated community... It's actually funny that this initial big fella here is gonna probably rest here until the end of times. Uh, we're gonna try to make our way... I have to be careful here because there's a lot of them. And I still want to keep the explosives over there just in case we might need them for some reason one day, who knows. Uh, we should be able to start breaking down these benches and that should allow us to get our hands on metal and uh, hardwood. So not these metal or the, not the metal scraps but the wood scraps. But okay, if we are gathering the metal this way, I'm just happy. So because there are so many drop-off points, we're going to be able to drop off the resources here. Let's clear out the breeze. Gather up any of the resources we can. I don't want to agitate that spitter. We're gonna try to sneak up on this lovely girl here. There we go. Gather up that plant matter. And at this campsite, we're going to drop it all off. And now we're going to continue over here. And 
and then we're gonna have to make our way to the south. That's one sneaky kill. There's gonna be a lot of the uh, infected in here, but because they are just the basic ex-humans, we're gonna be able to dispose of them. But uh, the biggest issue which I have so far found is like if you have uh, multiple enemies such as this and you are trying to switch between the locks on them so that you can like prioritize a target to your liking, it, it might be a bit bit trippy. But like honestly it's like the least of your problems most of the time. You're trying to either avoid the enemy or do it a bit more carefully than I am here. But we were able to upgrade our tools quite a lot lately, so thanks to all the scavenging and careful approach. I do want to get the orange one because she tends to drop either the fabric or the metal bar, and the metal bar would be pretty damn useful for me. What the hell is that? Did, do you guys see this? I'm, I'm gonna probably try to follow this deer. I have no idea what's happening right now. This is freaky. Is he gonna lead us to like some secret space or place? Secret space. Okay. Should I dig there? Because he's digging there. <laughs> Damn! Okay, so we just came across the mana bead. Interesting. I want to get a jump on her. Oh, damn it. <laughs> but not with a freaking fishing rod. Oh my god, how many of them are here? Well, the uh, benefit of trying to slay them is the fact that they might be capable of dropping metal bars, which I am in such a desperate need for. But I have not seen them so many before in one location. Is it because we are activating these beacons? Okay, so they just hunt the animals, such as the deer, but they don't feed on the flesh. So why would you just attack the deer? Deer? I, I, I don't follow the logic here. Okay, uh, so we wanted to get over there, and now we need to uh, make it over there. So we are uh, going in the right direction. I just don't want to attract every ex-human. I do see those mushrooms over there, but I first want to get rid of the company here. Man, I do wonder what's going to happen when we, like, uh, interact with all the uh, four comlings. Uh, Gravehaven, population 107. Yeah, Gravehaven might have had even smaller population than the gated community from once we came. But the issue is, a Gravehaven has much more dangerous infected around. Uh, so they have the spitters, they have the acid boy. Uh, it's, it's definitely like a whole lot more dangerous neighborhood. Okay. Cannot pick up that. So we were inside and in order for us to get inside because we are unable to still break through these, we would have to make our way through the big fella over here. So we would require like another upgrade on our machete in order to accommodate this uh, damage output. Okay, let's store all these goods. And uh, there's the acid spitter inside. Uh, I think this house is either still locked or I just cannot see the entrance. So 
since we are here, let's at least gather up the plant matter. Oh, he can get out. Okay. So I don't want to camp now, that's for sure. Okay, beautiful stealthy kill. And now if we start breaking down the furniture, such as the armchairs, the sofas, we are going to be able to get that hardwood and the fabric, so... We're going to require those eventually, but the biggest struggle for me right now is with the metal bars. We still need one more in order to like do a backpack upgrade, but we are also kind of struggling here because we need to do one thing and that one thing is to get our hands backstabbing damage plus okay so and we are wasting most of our spices on this recipe so it better be freaking worth it So I'm, I'm not really sure if these boosts are also like permanent until our character gets killed. Like I do wonder if we actually lose all the boosts from the dishes once we die. Or if we can then have to like regain the stats by having to consume the recipes again. But if I were to try to make the basic tomato soup again, I get like a message that... Hey, you already ate the dish, so you cannot get the boost anymore, so uh, that, that's why it's kind of funky that way. Okay, no, still no. Still no. Uh, what about if we were to crowbar this? Not really sure where you would come across plastic in a case for your tools, but okay. And there we go, that metal piece. I'm going to try to see if we get some metal out of either this or... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get it from the grill, that's, that's for sure. Uh, seems like we are full, so let's go drop off everything. Thankfully, we are rather close to our drop-off zone. Okay, so we are still in Gravehaven, and we need to somehow get to our destination. So we need to be careful here, because this is where I died being chased by the freaking stalker. And that thing can chase you for quite the distance, so I definitely don't want to have him on my behind for too damn long. It is a unnecessary risk to my well-being uh i need for her to move out so there are two of them we need to be careful around him so that he won't see us because trying to dodge between all of them uh really not that uh, good for your health Oh, damn it. Okay, spitter, spitter, spitter. We are gonna hide here. Wait for him to walk away. Sneak attack. Roll. Dodge. The five Ds and dodgeball. And we get the kill. Okay, so the stalker is somewhere in here. Now, I don't remember... Yeah, we have to go through the damn park, right? I think that that's, that's where we have to go. So, carefully here, because that thing is, like, walking around through here. Or it tends to be here. I... Yeah, you see, it's over there. And I swear to God, I think I hear another one. So we have now the backstabbing damage, but doing a sneak attack on the stalker... Extremely difficult. And the weirdest thing is how these bastards attack, because they are charging at you 
while they are able to swing. So every other enemy actually tries to charge at you. And once they close the distance, that's when the animation for the assault kicks in. However, with the stalkers, entirely different process. So as you can see, he is swinging, uh, swinging, and if we take a hit from this bastard, he actually is capable of dishing out a crap ton of damage. Look at that, half of our HP is freaking gone okay i really have to use the freaking throwable knives here uh bandages uh bandages take a whole lot of time to be applied this is why they are ineffective in engagements versus the stalkers but god damn it there's actually two of them in here that's no joke that's no joke that's not funny how am i supposed to deal with that and you see, if you would go camping after the first one, and then you would try to come back, you would not have a great time. Since we are getting here, we're gonna try to gather up all the resources, because there's no chance in hell. I'm gonna be coming back anytime soon, that's for sure. And if I would try to use the crowbar on these bastards, I'm not really sure how easy that would be. Uh, I think we have both the crowbar and the... Uh, machete at the same stage. That stone table looks interesting. Okay. So there's like this whole hidden lore behind the island. There used to be some ancient tribe of people who were pushed away. And, uh, well, on the previous episode, we did uncover some fun stuff regarding them. So if you have not seen it, go check it out after you're done watching this one or heck watch the entire playlist i do need the views and i'm gonna be really thankful if you do so it describes a legend of an ancient fox who inhabited the island the bringer of great knowledge the one-armed king came to us from the skies we welcomed the king to our tribe. We greeted him as one of our own. Did they meet an angel or an alien? Or is that story just greatly exaggerated? Actually, I'm, I'm shocked that you are able to translate whatever is on these things. Because if I would come across like an ancient tablet, there there's... No chance in hell I would be able to say or tell what the hell does it mean. Okay, we're gonna be getting lots of resources here. Crowbar. Beautiful. There's no chance in hell we're coming back here. I mean, two stalkers? They gotta be freaking insane, right? So let's activate. And there's a last link relay. Now back to the gate at the evacuation site. And that thing is all the way over here. So uh, if you uh, get to the link tower, so far we have how many? We have only three. If you get to them, you are able to use them for fast travel. I have not utilized this mechanic as of yet. So I do not know if, for example, this can have some negative side effects, such as uh, making it work as if you were uh, camping so that you can reset the enemies. Okay, we're going to try to blow up this place by smacking that barrel. Okay, there's that metal, which we were in such a desperate need for. Um... How much metal do we have? We have two metal scraps, so let, let's keep the plant matter for now on me. We're gonna be able to gather some more so that we have like a full stack, because in order for you to make one farmable land for your crops, you need 20 of them and also a hoe. So there's that. There's like a bunch of things involved regarding farming. I still feel kind of disappointed regarding the fact that you truly are not that well motivated 
Oh, uh, wow. Can we grab the map? No, not really. Okay. So you're not really truly motivated to keep eating because there's no, like, mandatory energy or hunger bar which would, like, tell you that, hey, dude, you should really eat something right now. There's not even like a sleep bar or how much exhausted you are. So it's going to be probably a bit easier in comparison to, let's say, um, Jesus, what's, what's the name of the game, which I'm thinking about, uh, blah, 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 blah. state of the key, state of the key. Yeah. There, there you have like a whole lot more stats, which you need to follow through. You can damage with that tool. Well, how about the crowbar? Now we need to upgrade the damage up to 20 points, huh? Okay, but here we can do some damage. Maybe we'll get some metal here. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And because none of the enemies have been reset, uh, we are a-okay. Sugar, spice, everything nice. We're gonna have to come back for that spice. Uh, question is if I can try to kill the fat boy. And by doing so, we might be able to, now theoretically using the crowbar, uh, free up some of this. Stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna have to camp eventually. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that here. With this boy, the key here is to do as many attacks uh, between his animation for attack. So when he is hurling that toxic sludge, that's when you attack him. Just make sure you don't take a face full of acid. Definitely he's gonna ruin your weekend plans. They are really slow, and if you manage to be mobile enough, you'll be able to dispose of them. Just don't stand in the toxic sludge. So while they are spitting that hot fire... Okay, I did take some unnecessary damage there, but I was able to dispose of him. Uh, so it's just a matter of, like, practice, but, uh, eventually you're gonna be able to take out most of the enemies, which at the start of the game were a whole lot of trouble. Like, for example, the ex-humans were quite tricky even at the start for me, but once we start leveling up, uh, it, it's, it's going a bit better. The thing is, I'm not really sure, for example, if, like, a ultimate survival mode would be introduced where if you die once, you have to start all over again, if I would be okay with that. You, you see, the reason behind that is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure. Okay, so if we eat the raw tomatoes now, we would just regain the HP so we don't have to rest up. So we have recovered that, okay. And now the question is, can we... So we don't have to always kill the big fella. And we're gonna get some metal out of this too. I really need to come up with some hacking doohickey in order to start tapping into all these loot crates. In order to find out what the heck is within them. Since we are here, let's take all these things, drop them off. And uh, we have 19 bars. If I would come across one more, just just one more, that, that one more bar would be what I would need in order to upgrade both a backpack or make the compass. Or theoretically, we would be able to... Uh, get the compass and maybe get even the get even uh, the uh, lock picker 
Not really sure how that thing will work, if there's going to be some minigame involved regarding that. But, uh, this game has so far brought a whole lot of fun things to the game. So I'm dying to see how these things are going to turn out, of course. I'm going to kind of uh, reconstruct someone's uh, interior. I hope they will not mind. If they do, they can send me a bill for repair, if they will find me. Okay, I definitely want to grab that potato, potato. We definitely cannot break apart the uh, bus stops, although I would have to hate myself for living in front of a goddamn bus stop. I mean... Um, I, I live in a city and I do have kind of a heavy traffic with one road, uh, on one, under one window, but thankfully it's not facing right on top of it. Like my neighbors have two windows on like the road and man, it can be really loud sometimes. So I would really not like this. I would really not like this. Okay, so we have cleared out that restaurant before, so there was a ton of stuff for us to pick up. Trying to determine if there is anything which would be able to give us a uh, metal. Metal, metal. This is stuff which I'm picking up here. It's more like pieces of wood and all these non-essentials. Uh, maybe the clock has a metal piece? Damn it, no. Need to find one more. I don't want to break down the radio because I know, I know they can have the uh, components which we will require for either the lock picks or either the uh, the, 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 the uh, lock picks or the uh, beacons or the compass or backpacks or whatever. But we're, we're trying to prioritize which things we craft first and we're trying to gain access to lots of places. And if we would be able to get our hands on the lock pick we'll be able to actually unlock quite a lot of things. Like for example, uh, there is this locked door, then we can get to the tomb. There is this uh, small station, there's radio. So there can be something valuable. There's this locked up house. There's like two spitters inside. And then there's like a ton of locked things all over the evacuation site. There's this lavish villa. Uh, with radio and uh, yeah, so lockpick would definitely be amazing thing for me And so far we are experiencing a uh, nice warm weather So that's at least the positive news if you're not used to the Celsius uh, system and use the Fahrenheit, well then I'm sorry for you and if you want to know the explanation to it, I tried to like make it uh, in the previous episode so you can go check them out. Like I said, uh, playlist will be featured at the end of the video most likely at this time. Or you can go through the link in the description and such and find out the channel and all the cool stuff which I have so far published. Okay, so, uh, question is, damn it, and what about the bench, can you give me that piece of metal, yes, awesome, so we are at a construction site and we need to make it over moi. So in order for us to follow the flag, okay, we're gonna have to go through this highly populated area. Oh, come on, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Let's see what you're made of. Okay. There is a small farm here, five uh, tiles, which can be used for farming purpose.
Uh, let's let's put down tomato, tomato, potato. These two take quite the stupid amount of time to reach maturity. Also, onions they take quite a while. And let's do let's do some corn too. So if we walk around through this area at any time in the future, we just might be able to pick up whatever is necessary. Metal or scrap? Metal. Nice. Really nice. Because getting the backpack upgrade, that's definitely uh, super helpful. But I I'm gonna see, because already we are able to just haul around a ton of stuff as is. So, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna see what's up. We're, we're gonna see what's up. But man, that spirit of the forest with that deer, that, that was some trippy stuff. But I'm super glad that we managed to, like... Follow the deer and see what's up. Yeah, that was not the target, dead audience. But let's see if we can get the dough, get our hands on some meat and bones. Uh, so far, we have no idea what the bones can be used for. I'm assuming there might be a bunch of reasons or uses for them. From making your own needles for sewing to like harpoons or something. That spitter is really resilient, huh? Let's see if we can lose him. By running between uh, many, many more enemies. I think I can say for sure that we have lost him. I still cannot believe that places like this do not offer any sort of hidden treasure. Uh, like, you would assume that if you get to, like, a edge like this, there's gonna be definitely something hidden within. But no. Oh, but there is actually a circle of flowers. And... It pays to pay attention. Do you wonder if there is like some slight variations in what these drops or these location might be for you if you would decide to pick up the game? Because um, if if I would know for sure that hey the same stuff will spawn for everyone because there's just the, this one map and like that's it, uh, like you, you you cannot have like variations and such then I would be, like, able to maybe make, like, a guide of, like, where to come across some pretty decent loot. Or, like, for how to, uh, get certain stuff. Because I'm, um, I'm not sure if there are that many guides for the game as of yet, since it's in early game, uh, stages, and if, therefore... Uh, there would be a demand for it, and if the uh, guide would be still applicable and usable after the game would have its full release. Because, like I said, early in games can have dramatic changes, and I just accidentally threw a freaking knife because I'm a dumbass. Because sure, it's, it's not like I have to camp or something in order to get my hands on a brand new set of throwables. So, uh, 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 No, we cannot go through there. Uh, we already uncovered this, so that's why it's green. If you want to know what exactly I did uncover down there, you're gonna have to watch the previous episodes. Sorry for being annoying with that, but that's just, uh, the sad truth. Okay, so, um, we have a ton of stuff, we have also the metal, so we're gonna have to camp. It's unfortunate, but it has to be done. 
Okay, Vigorous. Max hit points plus 5. It does not seem that great. Uh, the XP from fishing plus 100%. It might be interesting, but we don't do as much fishing. Throwable damage versus monsters plus 10%. Uh, let's go with the pitcher this time. Okay, so we need to get the compass. And let's see, common compressor. What the hell is that? Uh, double the backpack slot carry capacity for common materials. And so the link tower toolkit is something which we need to equip to the link towers. If we link it to the towers, this should stop resetting or allowing the enemies to keep popping in. So theoretically, we can have like a safe zone available for us. Um, this is required for the story purpose. It would actually need quite a lot of iron a toolkit that enables installing transmitters to link towers transmitters have various effects such as stopping monsters from respawning enables getting mana beats and then there is this thing crafting material simple set of tools for unlocking simple locks so i don't know if there is like a more advanced lock pick yeah there's the expert lock pick and i don't know um because if we go to the goddamn map, like if we leave here and if we take a look at the map, there's one lock, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just in here, just in this location, two, four, six, seven of them. And I don't know if any of them can be of the advanced variety. Uh, so you know what, I I'm thinking we're gonna go with the this is hard to uh, determine because if we go uh, for the quest, escape the island. We need to open the gate and see what's up. We're going to get 15,350 XP. Stop monster respawn. Invent link tower toolkit. Install deadly transmission to a link tower. And uh, myth tables, there's like eight more of them. So we would have to traverse the entire island to find them. The thing is, I believe that if we would be able to get into these locked up houses, we might be able to come across more resources, which we previously did not uh, have access to. So I really want to go first with the basic lockpick, because some of the enemies which we keep coming across, like in the gated community, etc, etc, it's, it's just your basic axe humans. So question is now, how do we equip the, the basic toolkit? Is it a trinket? Is it something else? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh... Day six. It's morning. We have the machete. Uh, we don't have the metal in order to upgrade the backpack. If we take a look at our tools, can we really upgrade anything at this point? Without the metal, so we need 30 pieces of metal if we want to upgrade the backpack, the crowbar, and the machete. And the crowbar would just be getting to the damage of 20, while the machete is already dealing 21 points of damage itself. So if we were to upgrade the machete, chances are we might be able to start killing the ex-humans with a single swing, theoretically. Um, but okay, we're gonna have to start clearing out this region over here in order for us to get to where we need to. So the evacuation center, etc, etc. So there's one ex-human. I still think this looks... Almost like Handsome Jack from Borderlands 2. Man, that, that was one of the funniest villains ever in a Borderlands video game. At least for me. I do wonder how the lockpicks are gonna work. Roll back. Still wanna get a jump on the spitter. Look at that. 
because we were able to sneak up on him and we have some of these perks or we ate that food we are dealing more damage since we are like sneaking back on them or at them this is gonna be tricky because there is that spitter and I'm quite sure I'm not gonna be able to get a jump on him unless he's gonna get uh, confused by the closed doors in which case okay did not expect that to work so well but there we go the reason why even cooking the dishes makes a whole lot of sense uh, we're gonna be breaking apart the majority of the furniture here because ceramics because fabric because wood all these things need to be uh, collected for whatever reason. Fish soup recipe. We need carrots, we need fish, we need potatoes. Uh, we are missing fish, so we're going to have to do some fishing. There's that potato, potato, patootie. There's that spitter over there. It's locked. It's blocked. Okay, so it's blocked from the other side. And there was no mini game nada. It just we were able to come to the doors and suddenly unlock them. So okay, at least it's it's not gonna be like in Skyrim or something. And by that I don't mean that the game is gonna be re re remastered ten thousand times. Uh, by that I actually just mean that there's no money game. Okay, the bench, we can actually gather this. It's actually funny that now that I consider some of these things, like I don't even realize that, hey, dumbass, you can actually gather the stuff from these things and uh, just get your hands on some cool stuff, which you previously could not have done. Okay, so we need to start checking these locations. Uh, interact. Outer gate terminal. Yeah, we have unlocked that. The question is if this is like a police station or what are we talking here? I need expert lockpick. Of course you need expert lockpick. Why do I feel like this place is gonna be somehow related to the story and we're gonna have to get our butts in here eventually too huh uh so this is locked and let's see if we can now open the gate we can now open the gate it's a kind of magic Okay, so, uh, we were able to get a ton of EXP, and we get a cutscene. Well, this looks promising. Could this be my way out? Seriously, they are launching people into outer space. It's missing fuel, though. I could try scanning for fuel sales using that link tower. So if I understand it correctly, we need four fuel cells. Because as we can see from the departed rockets, uh, they use four fuel cells. And uh, who else thinks that this looks awfully inspired by a TIE fighter? Uh, uh, the, the, the front screen, you know? Is it just me? Seriously. Star Wars? Anyone? 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 Come on! Come on! What type of a solution it is to abandon a planet and fly out into the outer space? That's the dumbest thing ever. You know what's the saddest thing? We cannot use the lockpick to get through these locks. Oh my god, do we need expert lockpick for all these places? 
that's the dumbest thing ever. There's a propane tank. There's just plastic and such. Okay, can we get... So find and investigate. Use the link tower to scan for fuel cells. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, there's some eggs. Okay, gotta have some protein. Now if I can only find some freaking bacon, huh? Mm. Bacon. Okay, so... Scanning for fuel cells. One, two, three, four. Jesus. Okay, so one of them is our, in our vicinity. This one is gonna be in like a frozen region. This one too, and this, this one is on like the far end of the island. Um, fast travel would allow me to get to the um, gated community. And we don't have the transmitters, so we cannot and ensure the, the safety of the region. But, yeah. Okay, so find four fuel cells. So one is over here, therefore I would probably want to go and get to the link tower, at least uh, during this episode. If we manage to do at least that, that should ensure... Oh, this might be interesting. That should at least ensure that we might be able to uh, see what it can be uh, guarded by. Maybe there's going to be some new type of enemy which we have not seen yet. No, uh, it's all about exploration. Damn it, we need to upgrade the... Crowbar once more. We have seven pieces of metal, which means I would require three more pieces of metal in order for our crowbar to deal damage of 20 points so that we can start breaking more stuff. And the question is, if we would upgrade the machete, if it would start being able to break through some of these things too. Well, we are definitely able to swing the machete a bit faster, but if we go here... So damage up to 20. We are missing three iron bars or metal bars. And then we would be able to break through these puppies, which would be extremely helpful. But that's 10 pieces of metal. Uh, that is going to be tricky. Like, I do wonder if the fire hydrants can be also destroyed. Yeah, upgrade damage up to 35. That's, that's like ridiculously high. So how exactly do we plan on doing this? We're going to go to the crossroad. And we're going to try to go then down here. See what's up with this house in the middle of the lake. Maybe there's going to be like a fishing spot. So we can get our hands on that fish which we need for the fish soup. Uh, if we would want to get the potatoes. They are growing on the pack card family so we can theoretically run there and see what's up since we are already in here unfortunately we do need those expert blocks and we can choose between either upgrading the machete upgrading the uh crowbar upgrading the backpack or uh uh researching and obtaining the blueprint for the the Comlink uh, gizmo which would stop spawning in the additional enemies after we do the camping thingy so uh there, there's like so many freaking options and so little resources can you break through this no because you need damage of 35 so we are missing still two of those because this is already counting even the stuff in your inventory cannot accommodate or account for if you would decide to die and lose all of that stuff come on bambi 
or Bambi's dad. I just don't want to fall into the hole. We just hunted our 30th deer and we leveled up, which means we're gonna have another skill slash perk available to us. Okay, so I want to go to the Packard uh, family farm and then we're gonna return and go down for that fuel cell and see I'm quite sure we're gonna have to run a bunch of fetch quests even uh, to get our hands on that thing so it's not gonna be that easy it would be just too damn uh, convenient and the mana rifts um can try to dig here but it's it's just not doing anything so i don't know if we're gonna need like some tech or something in order for us to get rid of these mana rifts or gather up the mana somehow from that location so we effectively dispose of two of them three four yeah, we would probably need to get our hands on some axe and some pickaxe and, uh, I don't know, maybe a bow or a crossbow. That would be awesome. So good news is that we have plenty of potatoes growing in here. Uh, if we have enough plant matter, we might be able to expand the farming. Utilizing a hoe. We're definitely going to be able to cook up that uh, fish soup. Just dying to learn finally a recipe would include... Damn it! I have to stop. I'm going to have to tape over the, the mouse button or something for me to actually stop doing this thing. Because it's freaking the hell out of me and it's annoying as funk. Uh, so how much plant matter do we have? 124. Okay, that, that's a lot of farmable land. That's one. Two. And one more. Okay, so we're going to be able to plant a ton of crops in here. So let's go corn. Because corn takes a while. Onion so far apparently takes the most amount of time. And we're gonna switch it up, go for potatoes. We're gonna put in four of those. And if you wanna see more farming, then check out the Stardew Valley on the channel. I have a ton of Stardew Valley episodes already. And uh, if we want to do something else, let's do two more onions. We can actually do three. Oh, sure. Why the heck not? And then we can do carrots. So we can do three carrots and three tomatoes. Come on. Play nice. I still need to fish, however. If we manage to get our hands on the fish, that's just gonna be awesome. Okay, so we need to switch things around for you and for you. And a decent fishing spot. Actually, we are pretty damn close to a water source, so... It might not have, like, exactly the most uh, amazing fishing spot ever. But... You never know. The game is not that challenging when it comes to the fishing. That's for sure. I even have an ex-human over here and they don't care. Okay. Not the best spot, apparently. I really would hate to, however, have to go to a... Uh, fishing spot in order to pull out fish. Come on, play nice. Lots of forageables. Maybe there's gonna be a better spot for me to try my hand at this fishing. I thought I saw 
Uh, a nest with the eggs, but I might have been mistaken. Okay, uh... Okay, uh, here we have a fishing spot. If you come across places like these, yeah, uh, you should definitely try to cast your fishing rod into them. That should mean that there is a high concentration of fish. And we're gonna pull out a leaf. And I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Two fish. Ooh, that's a new type of fish. I have not seen that yet. I do wonder if we can get another one of those red ones. There we go. Here's that second red one. Now the question is, uh, what type of recipe do we need them for? Because coming across recipes is kind of difficult. I'm, I'm kind of afraid. Uh, we're going to have to eventually venture out into this region with this heavy, uh, like, urban area where it looks actually like a small town. And uh, that might be a bit uh, tricky considering what might happen. Red herring. Hard to find and distracting fish of mystery. Okay, interesting. Whatever you say. But now we definitely have the ingredient for the fish soup. <sighs> Uh, yeah, so we have killed this location pretty much. So let's switch to machete. Let's go to the farm. Let's, um, let's see what can be done. If I would theoretically harvest more of the plant matter, we can even further expand the farmable land. But I mean, considering the fact of how much we are doing the farming as is, and uh, how little uh, uh, there is like a push for us to do this, I'm not really sure what to think. Okay, but we are definitely gonna replant some of these things, so... Uh, do we wanna go tomato? Do we wanna go... I don't have wheat, that's the biggest issue. Uh, you know what, let's go with onions again. We're gonna get five onions out of this place once in the nearby future. We're gonna switch back to the fishing rod. We're gonna put this over here. And I think we have to go into here where it's just this stove for me to cook. So let's cook, and we should be able to make the fish soup. Critical hit damage. God damn. Okay, that's that's pretty damn impressive. Six and seven potatoes. Cook and eat. Nice. Critical hit damage plus twelve point something percent. Uh, question is if we can eventually make it again once we have like the necessary ingredients. Uh, we have even made the fish and chips already. So the farming has definitely helped us out in that department. Okay, so now we have to go back down in here. It's possible for me to like completely destroy a fishing spot because so far I have not been using them so heavily. But okay, we, we are not gonna camp. We have still four throwable knives. So I can live with that. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the road in order to go down there. There's that rift, which slows down space time and all the continuum. Hey, what's up? Okay, okay, okay. Um, probably think we should Try to at least pick up some plant fiber, plant matter, whatever you call it. it. Makes you wonder how long our protagonist has been in that bunker for certain cars to be completely covered in leaves and for 
the road to be in such a desolate state. I mean, damn. Feels like he was there for at least maybe 20 years or so. Like, it seriously takes some time for the road to be this much covered in plant matter and dirt. <laughs> And now that we have that perk which allows us to store even more plant matter with like less 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 uh space which it occupies okay we have wolves we have not slain enough of those yet but trying to get a drop on one of these suckers might be a bit more tricky I'm not really sure how intact are their senses as they are in this infected state. We're definitely reaching the unknown. We have not been in this location before. I have no idea what the hell is this place or like what does it showcase or is supposed to mean. But we're going to take the shovel and do the logical thing. And I love you so much. Oh, crap, 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 crap. That's a bad dog. Okay, at least we know that from hunting down the wolves, we get the hide. Uh, Bowel Lake Camping Grounds. All visitors welcome. So, I think we are getting close to this place where I want to, uh, like, uh, investigate what's happening inside of that house. So, let's grab the plant matter. Let's break down this bench. Because metal pieces. Of course, there's a fishing spot in here. Fishing allowed. Even red mushroom. You know, one thing which I would love to see in here is like a safe house in the middle of the lake. That would have been epic AF if you can camp out here. Uh, that would have been awesome. We're going to try to do that fishing again. See what's up. We can upgrade the backpack. But I'm kind of trying to be a bit more uh, hesitant on using the metal pieces right now. So I was thinking, what if I would to actually get the Link Tower Toolkit instead? I do wonder how much fish can I get out of this location. We did use up all of our fish as is. I don't know if I picked up that fisherman's skill perk. Which allows us to gain just a whole lot more experience from doing fishing. Or just fishing, not doing fishing, it's just fishing. Okay, there is a campfire. So we will be able to drop off all the valuables. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm not gonna camp. Because I don't need all the ex-humans to respawn. I just want to make sure that we can uh, uh, investigate the area. Okay, so looks like we have finally killed this spot. So let's see if we can get to the campsite. It's nicely secluded. Don't want to camp. 14 out of 35. Jesus Christ, this map is massive. Let's get all the resources. Man, this game is freaking addictive. Kudos to the studio behind this. They have done an amazing job on this. And if this is a game which can be called in early stages, I cannot wait for what's gonna happen once this thing is fully released. I bet it's gonna be epic. Gathering the plant fiber because if we get eventually back to the farm Might be tempted to of course expand the farming 
We do get experience from that too. We have so far not found a single survivor, so it looks like we were the only one who had the bright idea to build a bunker. Now I have to be careful around running in the water or around the water because I don't want to fall off the edge and drown. And of course there is a spitter. You know what would be awesome if you would have the Assassin's Creed Odyssey Spartan kick and you would be able to kick him down into the water and see if he can swim. And just say, Marco, Polo, and see what's up. Spices. So unfortunately, there's not going to be any potential for us to camp in here. The, the house did not manage to last intact. Or the hut. I, I really don't know. I haven't seen a single uh, building with multiple stories in this game so far. I'm probably estimating it's like a limitation either in the engine or in how you view the world. So it would kind of uh, create all these obstacles when you would be trying to walk around in like a town. So it, it, it might be explained by that, but the coolest thing just happened and we came across wheat. Now we need more wheat in order to actually make that burger. If we can make that burger, that would be awesome. I think I did plant the wheat somewhere, but for the love of it, I cannot remember if it was on the Evans farmhouse or where. But we still need to now run towards the uh link tower or com link or what you want to uh call it and that should allow us to now these wells are the weirdest thing ever because you need to have these ingredients on your hand if you don't have them in the backpack, there's at least I have not yet discovered a way for me to pull them out. If I would be able to like go into collection and just be like bam and, and like pick up one or something that that would be just it would make my day. But yeah, we need to have these things uh, on us in order to like uh, deal with the wells. And uh, I think we already passed one somewhere and I'm not really sure what can be done in order to get into it. So we're just gonna have to keep on exploring through the region where we have not been before. See what can be uncovered, discovered. Spicish. Okay. We're getting again into like this semi-tropical look-alike region with the bamboo, the palms, and all these uh, weird mangrove look-alike trees or, or what you want to refer to them. Uh, of course I want to slay her. <laughs> wow, look at that damage. Almost one shot at the Warhees uh, ex-human. That's some impressive stuff. Okay, we need to unfortunately turn around and head down. <laughs> the fact that we can uh, kill her with one shot is no longer that amazing, but... <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it's getting tropical, so I'm not really sure if this means that we need to change our outfit. Also, there is that weird nest. So, damn. Okay, let, let's try one thing. Let, let's see if we're going to be able to get a result if we do this. Uh, so, I want to see if switching our clothes back to the original outfit would allow us to manage the temperatures. And we need to camp for that. 
So that is actually pretty damn idiotic because that means that the enemies will respawn. Scavenger. Increases chance of finding extra materials when searching. Doctor. Heals amount more. Hoarder. XP from storing materials. Uh, throwable damage versus monsters. Total effect if you pick this. Throwable damage versus monsters plus 20. Um... Man, I don't know. Let's go with the uh, scavenger uh, upgrade gear. Uh, invent and craft. This is the stuff which we need for the quest. This one, I'm not really sure what we need for, but we can get it. A keen eye is able to spot items otherwise hidden. Search efficiency plus 25. <laughs> budget let's 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 do it and we need yeah we need 10 so toolkit that enables installing transmitters to link towers transmitters have various effects such as stopping monsters from respawning enables getting mana beats and we're gonna require the electronics and steel in order to get the expert block picks so that's still gonna take quite a while camel netting as a trinket mesh netting made uh to resemble foliage enemy view range rank plus 10 percent uh gyroscope I mean, we have a ton of these things so shock absorber Trinket, crafting material, scrap metal, scrap wood, uh, dodge roll speed. I do wonder how many of them will I be able to equip. Uh, counterweight, critical hit damage. Don't know if I want to go for this because it consumes hide and hide has been a bit more uh, annoying to come across. But uh, we only live once. Let's try to get our hands on as many of these things as possible. And the storage upgrade uh, enables taking materials out of the camp storage box and placing them back into your carried material slots. Removing materials costs additional XP. Press F near a storage box to open the menu. Wow, this would be actually super beneficial. But the cost of just the mana beats alone is gonna kill us. Now the question is how it's gonna be with the link tower tool kitty thingy and now i want to see how many of these trinkets can we equip because god damn it there's like a whole lot of them counterweight critical damage uh dodge roll speed fishing speed search efficiency enemy view shrunk strafing speed running speed light up darkness max hit points that that's uh, that's one which I'm really having issue uh, saying goodbye to. But okay, what if we go... Because um, this thing increases the cold protection by 5%. But also material carry slots plus 1. That, that's the biggest issue which um, I'm kind of uh, looking into. So, if we leave now, uh, we are sitting at 29 degrees by the fire. I want to see how this is going to change if we try to go into the tropics uh, where the freaking battery is because I, I don't know if we can just run bare ass through the jungle and try to get our hands on a, a freaking fuel cell. So there has to be some system to this whole mess. I have to be careful about the Warhees lady. <laughs> and again, a quick disposal. Don't want to deal with that thing. Okay. A 
able to dodge in last second. Nice, 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 nice. Search. Nice. What the hell is that thing? Yeah. So already it's 30 degrees and I think that's like the only reason why we are not melting our face off right now is because I uh, unequipped the outfit. I would still, however, prefer to have it because obvious reasons, but if it's not going to be allowed, damn it, I'm, I'm, there's lots of elevation in this place. There's also a camping ground. 15 out of 35. Plenty of enemies, however. Big damage up to 30 in order to do something. Lots of these freaking things here. Jesus. We don't come across stuff like Molotov cocktails or something. I'm not really sure how effectively I'm going to be able to deal with some of these things. So again, the thing about like trying to highlight some of the enemies if there's more of them or mark them might be a bit more trickier there's that spitting volcano jesus freaking christ this whole place is so infected or infested with these things it's not even funny is this like a police station i would kill for finding like a shotgun a system of rationing has been put in place we still have an abundance of food and supplies, but we need to conserve our strength for later. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. I do wonder if we eventually get to the Crown Station. When venturing into Basel, be careful not to step out of your patrol vehicle. There are some strange plans around, okay? Tomatoes and corn. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I was actually trying to read what's in here, but that just seems to be this note from the other side, so F it. I do wonder if we're gonna be able to get that fuel cell. Because it seems like these uh, infested nests or whatever they are uh seem to uh really work well in the tropical climate of the southern section of the island so that's something a bit concerning to me all things considered okay uh i would love to do one thing and that one thing is to return to the campfire there is also this, and I'm just petrified to find out what it is. The slimy and guttural sounds intensify around you. Exhumans aren't the only danger around these parts. Kill five mortar pods. Finish in 80 seconds. Yeah, we're going to decline that for now because the mortar pods are those weird things which are actually spitting the acid at me. Uh, sure, they are stationary, but I'm not really sure what's, what's like the HP on those things or like how many hits it takes in order for me to effectively dispose of them. Let's clear this place out. Okay, 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 okay. Shetty to the rescue. Yeah, you know what? I'm a sucker for punishment. I should, like, uh, consider... Camping so that I would save my progress. Because if I don't camp, we're gonna have to travel from God knows how far. Okay, 
the issue. Wow. So they have like a rapid fire mode. I did manage to take some damage there. Okay, and two of them. How much time left? Managed to pull it off. Okay, which means we are almost at another level. I, however, don't want to uh, do the same attack type on the spiky boys. I'm quite sure that would end up in uh, quite the negative result because they have those spikes. Man, we are overheating. How the hell do I cool myself down then? Uh, invent a cowboy hat or an ice brick. What the hell is this? What is this object? Ice brick. I don't remember seeing those obelisks ever before on the island. It's like suddenly, magically, thanks to the infestation, they are popping in all over, huh? Okay, uh, this raises a big freaking problem, because unless I find a way to get to the Link Tower, uh, we are boned, and also we are overheating. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. No, don't fall into the goddamn water. There's just way too many of them. Oh, damn it. We're gonna have to use the bandage. Come on. I'm unlocking on him. Okay, so we don't have to use the bandage. We are, however, overheating rather dramatically fast. So I need to pull back. Or we can die of dehydration or, or something else. Not happy. Don't know what outfit would work here. If I would keep the one which I have just for the region in the middle, that already is uh, problematic for me. Arena Obelisk. What are the chances we can go through the town and get to it? Maybe we will not be able to get to the goddamn fuel cell. Protecting yourself from uh, cold temperature might be much more manageable than protecting yourself from the hot weather. Oh, man, this can potentially have lots of usable stuff in here. That's blocked from the other side if we switch to the crowbar. Is it metal piece? She cannot get to us so that her awareness bar will not get completely filled up. She did manage to, or I managed to screw it up enough so that she would see me and therefore I wasn't able to execute her uh, with one swift swoop. Just a freaking spinning volcano. Let's gather that fabric and the hardwood. Yeah. 
gonna have to use the bandage. Let's do that now. We have still three of them. The thing to keep in mind is that... Oh boy. You guys are really making it difficult for me to try and get to the place where I'm trying to get to, huh? Okay, I'm quite sure you're gonna be able to hear the siren outside, but if not, it's just gonna be awesome. But I did have already a situation where the siren was recorded. Okay. If he's gonna be facing that way. There's something big and red. I don't even... Uh, the Ruthless Pitcher. That's another big bad boss. I, I don't really think we are well equipped to handle whatever the Ruthless Pitcher is all about. Although, that's really hard to tell these days. But he's not alone, or it is not alone. I still tend to refer to them as if they were humans. Oh, damn it, I totally did not know this that thing. Can we just chop it? Okay, we can apparently chop it. I want to see if I can get a... Oh, fudge sickle. Look at that thing. That's... Oh, man. Worst thing is, it's not alone. I don't think I can just sneak past through and uh, get the fuel cell, which is still light years away. Okay, how, how do we do this? This this house seems to contain quite a lot of fun stuff. have to reduce her awareness once it goes down able to execute okay and I think I'm, I'm gonna cut off the episode here so we are in the southern section of the island uh, obviously we are able to pick up the presence of the super baddie there it's gonna make it extremely difficult for us to get further or towards the fuel cell. On the next episode, therefore, we might try to venture out into an entirely different region. Oh my god, the stalker is actually outside of the house. Well, that's inconvenient AF. This is one pretty damn massive household, though. Uh, let's drop the leaf matter because we need the lettuce actually. Um, if we have the lettuce theoretically, we might just be able to grow it so that we can then make the a burger and such. But yeah, if you did like the episode, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see the playlist so far, check it out. It will be featured at the end of the video. If you want to see more fun content such as this, Check out the link in the description, it will lead you to the channel itself as I publish fun videos like this from Mondays till Fridays. I do playthroughs, comparisons, all sorts of cool stuff, so go check it out. And if you especially want to become my new best friend, consider subscribing and you are not gonna regret it. I mean, come on. There's only that many fun channels you can subscribe to and I'm quite sure I am funny enough to consider subscribing here as well. So do that and we're going to try to catch up in the comment section. If you have any tips, tricks, concerns, comments, whatever, feel free to leave them. I'm going to try to get back to you at my earliest convenience. I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of rest of the day hopefully you are staying safe and hopefully we're gonna see each other in those comments or at the next one thank you for watching everyone and bye bye for now okay so i want to grab the freaking onion and i want to grab the spice or at least the spice
Uh, let's let's ditch the scrap metal. Let's maybe not ditch the scrap metal on the same location where I want to pick up the spice. Okay, because the spice is more rare, and because we made the chili, uh, the chili chili, uh, that has resulted in us using majority of our spices as is. Okay, so now to make our way amongst all these uh, spitting thingies and the spiky thingies. Man, this region is definitely difficult as is. Let's go with the max hit points. I mean, I don't know, we can recover HP rather easily. You think we leveled up like twice, no? Let's go with Vigorous. Let's see, what did we unlock theoretically? Ice Brick. Trinket Crafting. Uh, heat Protection plus 5%. Yeah. 